Hospitals in China are under siege from a new wave of COVID cases. One in Shanghai said it expected half of the city's 25 million people to get infected by the end of the week after Christmas. In Beijing, healthcare workers said patients might have to be turned away due to a lack of beds and resources. Howard Bernstein is a doctor at the city's United Family Hospital. The hospital is just overwhelmed from top to bottom. So, you know, the, the ER filled up with people. A lot of them got admitted to the hospital. They're not getting better in a day or two, so there's no flow. Um, and therefore, people keep coming to the ER, but they, they can't go upstairs into hospital rooms, um, so they're stuck in the ER. The new upsurge comes after President Xi Jinping's government suddenly abandoned strict measures aimed at stamping out the virus. State media say frontline workers have been told to work while sick, while retired staff have been brought back in some areas. The country's National Health Commission has said it will stop publishing daily data on infections amid doubts over their reliability. But figures from one UK-based health data firm estimate China is facing more than a million infections and 5,000 deaths every day. Ordinary citizens are making their own estimates too. This woman says almost everyone she interacts with has been infected.